Sean Strickland gets on uh, Twitter. Whenever you see Sean Strickland with that straight up selfie video <laughs> and he's in his truck, I don't know what kind of yeah. truck he, he drives. I'd love to find out what kind of truck guy he is. But whatever, whenever you see that video, you know some shit is going down. You know he's dropping mad fire in Sean Strickland's way. So Sean Strickland has a message for Ian Gary. I like both these guys. I'm a huge fan of both of them. Mm -hmm. But Sean Strickland says he's going to help Ian Gary out, right? Because, uh, again, correct me if you, know, if, you, if you have your black belt in this uh, whole drama here, Chin. Sean Strickland found out that Ian Gary's wife wrote a book a long time ago. 12 years ago. 12 years ago on, on being a WAG, which yep. stands for... Wives and Girlfriends. I didn't know how to look at Wives and Girlfriends yeah. of Athletes. Again, I don't know who his source is. I don't know where this even came from. That's why I don't put too much into any yeah. of this because, you know, it's all hearsay here. But so she wrote a WAGS book 12 years ago. And then her ex-boyfriend or husband... Ex-husband. A husband... Mm. Lives with Ian Gary and his his nutritionist apparently. Okay, I think this is coming from this guy named MMA Guru. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that's what I think where it came from. That's he, where it he did the investigation. Yeah. So Sean Strickland finds this out. Sean Strickland's gonna Sean Strickland. That's why we love him, right? He just shoots from the hip, but he says he's trying to help Ian Gary out. If you want to help Ian Gary out, you don't go public with this <laughs> and make it this entire shit storm of info for Ian Gary and his family. That and they're the problem with 2024. And he used to be just like a millennial, like Generation Z or Y or what the hell we're calling it. It used to be like a young thing where they will go after whoever, like the Jake Pauls of the world, you know, the Conor Greg. They there's no standard. the The wives and family should never be touched, mm -hmm. no matter what it is. My, my only caveat there, my only criticism of uh, Sean Strickland, with you know, it's good content for what we do and all that stuff, but I could care less about that. But if Sean Strickland wanted to actually help Ian Gary, he would have messaged him privately. Anyone in the UFC, it's a small alumni. It's easy to reach out to somebody. You don't go public with it. And then the fans get on it. And then Ian Gary, you know, is, has a lot of haters. And the, the thing that made me feel bad, how old is Ian Gary? 26, I think. Let He's me young, right? Check, yeah. He's young. And his wife's 40. Yep. If, if that works for Ian Gary, whether she was a wag and this was her intentions to get with him, who... Who are we to judge that that's not real love? They have a kid together. I'm sure Ian Gary had his pick of the litter when it comes to females. So something worked here. And he's obviously crushing it. He's undefeated. And maybe just because she had these 12 years ago, these intentions to get with an athlete and she got an athlete. That was 12 years ago. Maybe she changed. Maybe she thought that. But there's actual a genuine connection between her and Ian Garrett, even though they're, you know, he's younger, 26 and 40. Okay, we've seen it happen before and it works out. So I'm not one to judge. I, here's the other thing. I don't give a shit. If Ian Gary likes older women and she's his manager and she's directing him in this way and influencing him in this way, okay. And this is where social media gets super dark because now you're dealing with a 26-year-old kid who's trying to be the best fighter in the world, and now we're not talking about his jab and his teep and his roundhouse and his uh, hook. We're talking about things that have nothing to do with yeah. fighting. And the attention on Ian Gary is not how great of a fighter he is, how he's undefeated in the UFC. Now all the attention is his wife, wag, bloodsucker, and the, the you know, MMA media is toxic, so everyone jumps on it. He, he does need to step back a second and just go, okay, okay, hold on, I'm 26. I got, you know, we've been together for a while now. I was very young. We have a baby. Forget about what the internet says, whether she's, you know, a gold digger. Forget about all that. What's going right in my life? Well, my training, right? He's kicking ass in training. He's on a feed in the UFC. His, 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 his mindset is phenomenal. But the narrative on in Gary, and, and he went from this, you know, this baby face, talented prospect into this really hated guy, I feel like. Very fast. Mimicking Conor McGregor, right? We know it's not authentic. He's using the very same words, right? You don't need to do that. Just being Gary. We don't need that. Talking stuff, that's fine. That's fine, especially in today's age. And that's his personality. You can do that. But And then the Leon Edwards stuff got a little dicey, right? And that's when people started looking into things. So I, I would just step back and maybe have a conversation with the wife and the ex-boyfriend or ex-husband. Just be like, hey, guys, the direction we're going, to, uh, that's not a route I want to go. And hopefully he has that power or he has that opportunity to express that to him. Like, I was beloved, man. And then now you guys took me over here with the, you know, the, the, 
the mugshot picture and stuff like like that wasn't even his idea. No, it wasn't. Yeah, that's what sucks. That's what sucks. Yeah. So whoever's running his stuff, you, you're you're actually not helping him. You're kind of hurting him because you have nothing to do with the fundamentals and his training. You have nothing to do. You guys are the PR team basically, and you're doing a freaking horrible job because this kid has become the most hated guy in MMA over a three month period with the way you guys have handled things. And to add more fuel to that fire, Sean Strickland posts this, then he gets DMs from Ian Gary. If you think Ian Gary is threatening a lawsuit, yeah, I got property to sell you a beachfront property in Nebraska. That's not, that's again, his PR team, his wife or her ex-husband posting, even the way it's written out, that's not Ian Gary. So he, this is the DMs to Sean. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a guy who's trying to help. Oh, th so this is Sean. So this is Sean saying this. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a guy who's trying to help. He put a cuck. LL, sue me. Get in line, mother effer. There are a few in front of you. I would have respected you more if you threatened violence against me, but I guess it makes sense. Then put cuck again. <laughs> and then he responded, Sean, what you're doing is spreading hate lies and harassment. I'm helping you here, giving you a heads up. Again, this, this isn't going to help the Ian uh, Gary narrative in any facet mm -hmm. when when you're a professional fighter and we've gone through this with logan paul and dylan danis there i can't emphasize this enough the number one rule in fighting the number one rule there's no suing in fighting a fighter can't sue another fighter you're professional fighters the way you handle this is you get inside that octagon and you fight i don't know who he it would have went so, so much further with fans and the usc if he went Hold up. He would have got so much more respect. He went, hold up, hold up. What me and my wife do is none of your business. If you have an issue with it, I'll meet you here. Insert address of Jim. We'll film it. We'll make it for the fans. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Nobody goes to prison. Nobody goes to jail. There's no domestic violence. There's none of this. There's no assault charges. You guys are legit prize fighters. Act like it. Fight each other. They're not that far off in size. Ian Gary's a massive 170. Strickland's not the big. I mean, he's, don't get around, he's big 85er. But still, you, we could figure this out. If you have so much hate, you're both pretty damn good at fighting. Do what you do best. Fight each other. Again, Ian Gary probably had no clue. He's, he probably woke up and was like, whoa, why are people thinking I'm suing the guy? And she's like, that's what we told him to take it down. Oh, my God, you're 40. Figure out social media. Take it down. Once things are out, they're out. Yeah. There's no taking it down. Once it's out, even if he deletes it, it doesn't matter. It's already in the Twitterverse. That thing will live forever. He could take it down. It doesn't matter. The, the, the trolls and the families are like, and then they have it. Ian Garrett's 26. He knows this. The 40-year-old and however old her ex-husband is has no clue how this works. You're ruining the kid's career off your stupid PR moves. There's so much at stake here. That kid can do it and you're fucking it up. That kid can do it and you could have used this opportunity to gain some fans and to gain some respect and go, cool, bro, send me your address. I'm going to drive down there and beat the shit out of you. We'd all go, damn, you want to watch that? You want to watch that on Instagram Live or TikTok Live or Twitter Live? Ian Gary pulls up at Sean Strickland's gym, five rounds sparring, two-minute break. What?